Monday is a holiday. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Joining us now, the president and CEO of the Institute of Transformational Philanthropy, Lisa Dietland, joining us with some ideas on how to give back. Hello to you, Lisa. You know, we have this saying with Martin Luther King Day, you know, it can be a day off, but how about making it a day on, meaning a day when you are on and you are giving back to those in your community that are in need. Lisa, I love the idea of virtual volunteering. Can you give us some more tips? Well, you know, Angie, with the cold Arctic blast that we've been having, a lot of people want to volunteer, but they don't want to leave the confines of their house. So you actually, there's this thing that's developed recently called virtual volunteering, and you can find it by doing some research with your nonprofits. You know how I always say, be a smart a donor, well, be a smart volunteer. Check out, you know, Volunteer Match or All for Good. Check out the different websites. There's many things that you can do within your home and not have to go outside that you could virtually volunteer volunteer, especially if you have talents, like if you're a lawyer, you could review legal contracts, or if you're a graphic artist, you could design an invitation, or if you're an accountant, you know, we're coming to the end of the fiscal year we did in December, now we're coming to the time when we have to file our taxes. You could provide those services all from the comforts of your home. Some other ways to serve are thinking about gathering up your family and going and doing something in your community. You know, Martin Luther King had this idea of a beloved society where all Americans could come together and help solve our problems. And you know, we're really great at talking about our problems, but there's an opportunity to solve them. So gather your family and friends and say, hey, let's go volunteer this morning. And then, you know, have lunch together, have that cup of coffee, do something that helps your community. Now you might say, oh, gosh, I don't know any nonprofits or the ones that I know are closed or everybody's already volunteered already. Help your neighbor then. You know, think about it. Could you shovel a walk? Could you take out somebody's garbage? Maybe there's some elderly neighbors that can't pull their garbage cans to the curb. You know, being from northern Michigan, we have that problem all the time. Um, you could um, offer to do child care for your neighbor. Maybe they've been cooped up with the kids and now the kids have a day off. Um, oftentimes people are having medical treatments and need to be driven to medical appointments. There are so many ways, big and small, that you can help on this Martin Luther King Day of Service. Thank you, Lisa. We'll see you soon.